Here are 10 life hacks that will make life as a golden retriever parent more fun and easy. Although many goldens love the water, some just can't sit still when it's bath time. I get it. It can be uncomfortable to have water thrown on you, and now you're scrubbing off all the dirt that they tried so hard to cover themselves in. But if you want your dog to be better behaved during bath time, and for them to enjoy it more, here's a hack for you. Smear peanut butter on the wall of the tub or shower and let your golden lick it off. Most dogs love peanut butter, so this can be a simple way to make bath time a little bit more fun. You can put it straight on the wall, or if you'd rather be a little cleaner, you can put it on a licky mat. Now let's talk about a hack for the dogs who inhale their food. Eating food too quickly can pose some serious health risks to your dog, including choking and bloating. So instead of giving your dog their food in a bowl, use a puzzle toy to slow them down. Puzzle toys are interactive toys that deliver food slowly as the dog rolls, spins, or knocks the toy around. Not only do they slow down their eating, but the toys also burn some of your dog's physical and mental energy as they work to get the food out. They also only require a few extra seconds compared to pouring your dog's food in a bowl. My Golden likes this ball from Orby, but another favorite is the Kong Wobbler, and I'll drop links to both of these down in the description. Some other fun ways you can feed your Golden their meals is by doing the Muffin Tin game, where you put their food in the Muffin Tin and make them move objects to get to it. You can also hide their food in your house and do a scavenger hunt with them. And honestly, even if your dog doesn't wolf down their food, Giving them their meals in a puzzle toy is a really easy way to add some more fun into their daily routine. Continuing with the food theme, next up is a hack that's great for golden retrievers with sensitive stomachs or food allergies, or for people looking to save money on treats. Here it is. Take two cups of your dog's regular kibble and put it in a Ziploc bag with something stinky like bacon or beef jerky. Set it in the fridge for a day or two, and allow the kibble to absorb the scent and flavor of the smelly food. Your dog will find this flavored kibble more new and exciting than their regular kibble, and it'll be great for training treats or just rewarding good behaviors around the house. And because you haven't added any new ingredients, just a new smell, their sensitive tummies won't be upset. Now one of the best parts of owning a golden retriever is how much they love their people. And whether you've been gone a full day at work or you're just returning after checking the mail, Goldens can get pretty excited when you walk in the door. It feels good to know you're loved, but some Goldens get a little carried away and get a little too mouthy when you walk in the door. So here's a hack. Keep a basket of toys by the door and grab one as you come inside. Handing your dog the toy can give their mouth something to do that's not nipping your hand or sleeve out of excitement. And speaking of toys, this next hack is a great way to save money on dog toys. You might have noticed that when you bring home a new toy, your dog loves to play with it. But after a few days, the excitement wears off and they're not as into the toy. Instead of getting your dog new toys every week, you can keep your dog's toys fresh and interesting by rotating them out. First, collect all your dog's toys and put them in a basket that's out of their reach in a closet or on a shelf. Then each week, grab a few toys from the basket that your dog gets to play with. At the end of that week, Gather up those toys, put them back in the basket, and set out a few new ones from the basket. This can help prevent your dog from getting bored with their toys and keep you sticking to your budget. Of course, if your dog has a favorite toy that they like to sleep with or carry around, then you can leave that one out. Now we've all had those days where exercising or playing with your golden is a challenge. Maybe you're sick or it's raining. But we all know that there are no days off being a golden retriever parent and they will always have lots of energy. So here's the hack. Keeping a stash of food toys in your freezer can be a lifesaver on those days. Soak some of your dog's kibble in water, fill up a Kong with the wet food, put a little bit of peanut butter in the hole, and then freeze it. If you want to spice it up, you can put treats, yogurt, or pumpkin in there too. It's good to freeze them because it makes them last longer therefore burning up more of your dog's energy as they work to get the food out of the toy. These are also great for moments where you need your dog to be quiet and occupied, like when company is over, or if you have an important phone call. So while this hack isn't a long-term substitute for walks and playtime, it can help you and your dog stay sane on those days when life gets in the way. I've got a weird hack that can prevent a loose golden retriever from becoming a lost golden retriever. 
But first, let's talk about a hack for exercising your pup. Golden Retrievers need consistent exercise, about one to two hours per day. If they don't get enough exercise, then they might engage in some less than desirable behaviors, like barking, chewing, and digging. Off-leash exercise, ideally in nature, is the best way to give a golden the physical and mental exercise they need. But it's not always safe or possible. So this is where a tool called a long line comes in handy. A long line is just a really long leash, like 20 or 30 feet, and it can simulate the off-leash experience while still keeping your dog safe and under your control. It allows your dog a lot more room to move their body and gives them the ability to get many more sniffs in. And for dogs, walks are often more about the sniffs than the walk itself. Your dog will be more tired and more content after a long line walk than a typical neighborhood walk on a six foot leash, even if the walks are the same amount of time. And when walking them on a long line, it's best to clip it to a harness to protect your dog's neck. I'll link my favorite long line and harnesses down in the description. Now let's talk about a hack to keep in mind just in case your golden retriever gets loose and starts to run away. Maybe you accidentally dropped the leash, or they escaped through a door that was left open, and now your dog is running away while you're panicking. When you see your dog running off, your first instinct is probably to chase after them and try to catch them. But not only is your dog faster than you, but chasing them can prompt them to keep running away from you because they love to be chased. Of course, if you have a solid recall, you can call them. But depending on the situation, they may or may not respond. So instead of chasing after your loose dog, it's actually better to run in the opposite direction while making some high-pitched silly sounds. This can trigger their instinct to chase you. You can even sit or lay down on the ground after running away as you continue to make some noise. This can pique your dog's interest and encourage them to come see if you're okay. And remember, now is not the time to be worried about what your neighbors might think about you put on an Oscar-worthy performance for your dog to get their attention. These actions have a much higher chance of luring your dog back to you than you chasing after them. Now everybody knows that training your golden takes time and consistency. However, I've got a simple hack for you that can help you out. But before we get to it, here's a quick reminder to subscribe for more tips on how to raise your golden to be the best dog they can be. Now we know dogs repeat behaviors that get rewarded, so if you reward behaviors that you like, your dog will do more of them. So here's the hack. To make it easy to reward stuff you like, keep some jars stationed around the house filled with small treats out of your dog's reach. When you see your dog doing something you like, grab a treat from a nearby jar and deliver it to them. Your dog doesn't have to be doing something super impressive in order for you to reward them. It can be simple things like, is your dog laying on the ground being calm? Reward them. Did they notice the mailman outside but didn't bark? Give them a treat. Rewarding your dog for simple but desirable behaviors can really add up over time, and you'll be amazed at how it can improve your dog's overall behavior. Now, although Goldens have beautiful coats, there's a price you need to pay for all that beauty, and that price is having golden fluff on every surface of your house. Brushing them will help them not shed so much, but here's a two-for-one hack. Brush them outside, and then rub all of the extra fur off before you let them back inside. If you don't, they're going to waltz right back in, and guess what the first thing they're going to do is? Yep, shake all of the loose fur from their coats and deposit it on your floors. And to make brushing them even easier, use a brush with a fur dispenser so you can quickly get all of the hair off your brush. These life hacks will make life easier for you and your pup, but if you want to see what to avoid doing with your dog, check out these ways you're hurting your golden retriever without even realizing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.